What is up, guys, and welcome to the WrestleMania pre-show, kickoff show extravaganza. Where we will be talking about every single match on the WrestleMania card tonight, right here on this, right here, as we get ready for night number one of WrestleMania. So obviously we're going to kick this off really easy, hit, kick off of the night one matches that we will be seeing night one. One that we will be seeing is a number one contendership for the United States Championship. It will be a six man, that's right, six, six man battle royal featuring the likes of Alberto Del Rio, Sin Cara, Darren, Money Young, Christian, Mark Henry, and the man known as the ladies man, the swinger, the shaken and G rated Ryan. Donor, as these men will be competing on the Monday Night Raw side here at WrestleMania night number one. A chance to become the number one contender for the United States Championship. And, and the thing here is who who is the favorite here to win? You know, you have you have multiple world heavyweight champions here in the likes of Alberto Del Rio, Christian, and Mark Henry. Both all three of those men have held world championships. Sin Cara has been a tag team champion in NXT. Darren Young has been a tag team champion in the WWE. Ryan Doner hasn't held anything yet. You know, you got three young, hungry stars in Sin Cara, Darren Young, and Ryan Doner. On the other hand, you have Alberto Del Rio, Christian, Mark Henry. Two, two of the three definitely going to be Hall of Famers. Mark Henry, the world's strongest man. Christian, been a world champion and innovator of tables, ladders, and chairs. Has held multiple tag team titles. Has held Intercontinental Championship, European Championships. The man has done everything that there is to do here. And, you know, obviously both of them still feel like they have a lot left to give to the uh, WWE Universe. Christian and Mark Henry. Alberto Del Rio, on the other hand, I think Alberto Del Rio is my favorite to win this matchup. Del Rio is in the prime of his career. He's been a world champion, been a Royal Rumble winner, been a Money in the Bank winner, been a lot of things. And last year at WrestleMania, he defeated the game Triple H in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And this year, he's in this matchup, for a chance to become the number one contender for the United States Championship. So my money is easily on Alberto Del Rio because this man is ready. Sin Cara, Darren Young, Ryan Doner, no disrespect to you guys. You guys are still part, uh, carving your way through the WWE, but Alberto Del Rio is definitely a notch above all these men right now that's just my opinion right here but i would like to know what your opinion is put it in the comment section who do you think will be in the, the battle royal for the number one contendership for the united states championship will it be Del Rio? will it be Sin Cara? will it be darren young will it be christian will it be mark henry or will it be the man the swinger the jive shaker the g-rated ryan donor all right so moving along there right there speaking of g-rated this one right here it is, it's a matchup that we needed to see. It's another matchup that we needed to see. The Usos, who who are getting away from their G-rated, PG-rated, friendly, family-friendly gimmick. They were crowd favorites, always coming out screaming, ooh, so, ooh. And the fans say, oh. But they, they've gotten away from that, and no longer will they be those guys anymore. And they let the hype bros know that's not who we are. And tonight we get to see the Hype Bros against the Usos in a tag team action match of night one at WrestleMania. This is the Usos' new look, the new the new attitude of the Usos, who they really want to be. And the question is, you know, who is your money on, the Hype Bros or the Usos? It's it's a it's an easy pick for me right here. It's one of the easiest ones I'm going to have the night. You know, I, I love the Hype Bros. I think Mojo and Zach are definitely... Two positive dudes, two guys who are definitely gonna get it going and go crazy and whatnot. But the money is on on uh, the Usos. The Usos just have this new attitude that's just so deadly, so violent. Just it's a new Usos, and they're definitely wanting to make it on the grandest stage of them all. Prove the point that they are no longer the same Usos that we knew. These are a different Usos, a different batch of Usos, and these guys are ready to definitely take the tag team storm. The tag team. The Monday Night Raw tag team scene by Storm, and they are ready to do it here tonight at WrestleMania by making an example out of the hype bros. So bro me that right there. Bro me that question because now we're going to bro me into a bro versus bro match, brother versus brother match, as it will be the bizarre one Goldust against his brother Cody Rhodes. So this is... A matchup that's been in in the years and the years of making ever since Cody Rhodes was a baby. Ever since Cody Rhodes decided, hey, let me be a wrestler. Brother versus brother. Goldust versus Cody Rhodes. You know, 
this is a battle where the loser leaves WWE and the money's got to be money's got to be on the younger man. Got to go with Cody. I believe he's in a better physical, you know, no disrespect to Goldust. I know he's in a prime also physical shape too, but Cody Rhodes is just younger. Cody Rhodes is just more I think Cody Rhodes can go the distance. The longer this match goes, the more it benefits Cody Rhodes in this matchup right here. And, you know, somewhere somewhere right now, the dream is looking at this and be like, oh, my goodness gracious, what did we do? What the hell happened here? But I got Cody Rhodes going over Goldust tonight. I think Cody is definitely the man that's going to be beating Goldust tonight. You can bank on it. Let me know in the comment section what you're thinking about because that's, that's something important to us. We need to know what you're thinking about. All right, from that brother versus brother fighting a loser leaving WWE match, going to a match that will be a number one contendership from the SmackDown side, a number one contendership for the Intercontinental Championship. And this matchup is a six-man battle royal, and it's going to feature guys who definitely are looking forward to getting the opportunity at a singles championship, guys who don't ever have a chance to go for big titles like that. You know, the, the one man in here... The, that well, you got too many here that have been former world champions in this matchup, but there's so many guys in this one that have never been the world champion, who've never been in that spotlight of the Intercontinental Championship. It's it's a matchup that will feature our true Jack Swagger fan, Dango, Kane, Diego, and Fernando. And again, this is a, a match that's a battle royal, so it obviously has to go to Kane. You know, Kane's the biggest, the baddest. But at the same time, you don't want to go with Kane because all these five men can say, you know what, let's do the smart thing, get rid of Kane. Definitely, he can't destroy us. You know, Kane has that reputation of destroying things in matches where you have to toss your opponent over the top rope. Just think about the Royal Rumble. He holds the, one of the most, he holds a lot of, of the records at the Rumble because this man is a beast in that kind of match. So, you know, you want to go with Kane, but if True Swagger, Fandango, Diego, and Fernando are smart, First thing you do is get rid of Kane, toss him out. But the thing with Kane is he seems to be on the decline. He doesn't seem to be hitting the same way he was. And he's always going to be the demon. He always has those powers. But my money on this one has to be on Jack Swagger. I think this is a chance for him to revive his career. It's also a possibility for Fandango to finally get things going. Because if you look at Fandango, when he came up from NXT, he was teaming up with Tyler Breeze. They were part of the FOB. That's right, they were a tag team in my in my universe mode before they were a real tag team in real life. Just saying. But, yeah, you look at that, and and you got to wonder, it's got to be one of those guys' time. So, you know, I want to go with Swagger, but my money, I guess, will be on Fandango. I don't think Diego and Fernando, yeah, they can work together, but I don't think it's going to work there. I think Kane doesn't have it. I think he's a client. Our truth is just... I, I think our truth time has passed him up, and Jack Swagger, maybe this is his last chance. Fandango needs this one right here. This will definitely be a good stepping stone for Fandango, especially since he sees his former tag team partner, Tyler Breeze, as the Cruiserweight Champion. So, you know, this could be a good chance for Fandango to finally get his career going here on SmackDown Live. Just saying, speaking about SmackDown Live, SmackDown Live has chosen the team of Titus and O'Neill and Heath Slater, Slater Gator, to take on Raw's team of Team 3D. This is a Raw versus SmackDown match. Definitely want to see who has bragging rights, who has the better tag teams, who has the better. This is the first time we're going to see a Raw versus SmackDown match since, uh, since the... Well, since the WWE draft that we had earlier uh, this year, you know, it's going to be definitely something to watch. You know, Titus O'Neil, he's Slater, Slater Gator against probably one of the best tag teams ever in the history of professional wrestling and Team 3D. So, obviously, you know, my money obviously has to go to Team 3D. But you know what? I think Team 3 won't come up big. I think Team 3D will be shocked. And I think Titus and Heath Slater will definitely walk out tonight representing SmackDown proudly and you know the thing is if Titus and Heath Slater win this tag team match it's definitely good for Shane because Shane can be like you know what definitely made the right choice by picking you guys you know what I'm definitely giving you guys a chance at the tag team championship so this is more than a bragging the right kind of matchup this is a matchup that can give you a, give you a chance to be a champion on your brand and hopefully Titus and Heath Slater take advantage of that and we'll see what happens 
And then to cap off night number one, well, we got two more matches actually to cap off night number one. We will have Naomi against Alicia Fox, the uh, member of the Summer Foxes. Alicia Fox definitely wanted to be part of the Women's Championship, the SmackDown Live Women's Championship matchup, but it wasn't going to happen. It didn't happen. Naomi, someone who feels like she's been cheated out of the SmackDown Women's Championship fight as well, is going to get her chance to take on Alicia Fox, two women who feel like they've been uh, cheated out of being the champ, of being the top woman in on SmackDown Live. This could definitely be a match that Shane McMahon is watching. You know, I know Shane won't be really closely watching because you got to face the beast tonight, but this could be a match Shawn Michaels is watching and saying, you know what? She definitely deserves a chance at the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. She definitely deserves this. She definitely deserves that. So we'll see if Naomi and Alicia Fox deliver the way they're supposed to deliver. This is a big match for both of them here on WrestleMania. And then a match that just was announced recently. It wasn't announced on NXT. It wasn't announced on anything like that. No, no. William Regal said, you know what? Shane and Stephanie gave me the chance to say, hey, bring six of your best superstars from NXT. Put them in a match. Whatever you kind of match you want, you can put six people in. And William Regal has decided he's going to do it. He's going to put them in a match. A match that will definitely determine the NXT World Champion. So the NXT Championship will be on the line. Bet you Bobby Roode was not expecting that when he walked into the building. Bobby Roode will defend his NXT Championship against a man like the likes of Samoa Joe, Apollo Crews, Ty Dellinger, Shinsuke Nakamura, and I believe there's a couple more, but we're not allowed to say who they are. Uh, thanks to uh, William Regal surprise factor that he has, but that will be night number one of Russell Mania, and I can't wait to see night number one as this is a four night spectacular event that I cannot wait to finally see. I cannot finally wait to finally call, but I'm excited, and after this right here, this is the night number one of the first night of WrestleMania. We will be going more into depth about the next matches, which are going to be night number two, number three, number four. And the first one we're going to get off the bat is definitely a match between uh, two former friends and two member Shield brothers. Two former Shield brothers in Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. All right, so Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose, a matchup coming to us from SmackDown Live. Two former brothers, two former partners, two guys who knew each other very well. But the problem here is when Roman Reigns just couldn't pick up a wing, just couldn't find a win, was losing at the Royal Rumble to Bray Wyatt, lost in the Elimination Chamber, was the last one to lose to Kevin Owens in the Elimination Chamber. Roman says, you know what, it's, it's not my fault I'm losing, it's just the rut that I'm going, but... Eventually, we'll put that blame onto the lunatic Dean Ambrose, and Dean Ambrose is like, "Well, hold on, I didn't lose those matches. I didn't lose those matches for you. You lost them for yourself, man." And Roman Reigns betrayed Dean Ambrose, and this is a match that just needs to happen to let both these men out. I don't know if Roman has definitely changed his uh, his tune, but Roman and Dean Ambrose will definitely be going at it at WrestleMania. It's gonna be crazy, man. It's gonna be crazy. And then another match that we'll definitely have at WrestleMania, it will be the team of American Alpha and Kurt Angle against the Wyatt. And then Triple H, the gamer. Triple H takes on Kofi Kingston. Dolph Ziggler against JBL. Daniel Bryan against Chris Jericho. Who is the real loser between them? That's the question Jericho's been asking. Goldberg against the Mountain Amongst Men. It is Braun Strowman. And in a match that's been in the months and the months and the months. AJ Lee against Nikki Bella. And a match right here next, right here. A big one. The Beast Brock Lesnar goes up against Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon always a crazy daredevil. Might have been in something more than he could chew. In a career versus championship matchup, it is Rusev against Sting. And it's cruiserweight time. It is a ladder match. It is Brian Kendrick. It is Noam Dar. It is Tyler Breeze. Cedric Alexander. TJ Perkins. And Akira Tozawa. It is the Tag Team Championships for Monday Night Raw. It is the New Day against Sheamus and Bo Dallas. And on the SmackDown Tag Team Championship side, it is Tyson Kidd in the Big Show against the club. In the Women's Intercontinental Championship matchup, it is Maria Kanellis. It is Mickey James. It is Ms. Bliss, Alexa, Sasha Banks, Amina, and Evan. Bam! It is for the Intercontinental Championship. It is the Ms. Neville, Kalisto, and Curtis Axel. 
And for the United States Championship, it is Seth Rollins. It is AJ Styles' dream match. And for the Raw Women's Championship, it is Paige, it is Charlotte, it is Family Legacies. And for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, it is the past against the future, Natalia and Becky Lynch. And for the WWE Championship, two former best friends, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, my god. And for the Universal Championship, it is the champion Cesaro against the Royal Rumble winner, Finn Balor. And in a match that can definitely be in the streak against John Cena's career, Cena, Taker at WrestleMania. So like I was saying, just ran down the card real quickly for you right there. A couple of matches that I'm interested in all of them, honestly. I'm interested in all of them. And right now I'm about to give you the predictions for every single match on the card here. And ladies and gentlemen, don't worry, the full story will definitely be once we do the matches. If you know the full story and you've been following the universe mode, then great. That's I'm fantastically fine. That's amazing. But here we go. Here comes the predictions time. And the first matchup that I'm going to obviously predict is the Dean Ambrose Roman Reigns matchup. I got my money on. This is a tough one because both men are definitely two men that you don't want to bet your money against. But I'm going. I'm going with Dean. Just Roman has not been able to win. Roman is losing. Roman is losing here and there. Got to go with Dean Ambrose for the win on this one. I think Dean's going to definitely do what he needs to do and get some. Uh, tell Roman, hey, I'm not the reason you were losing. You were losing because you're just terrible. And we'll see what happens there between Roman and Dean Ambrose. And the next one that I will predict it is the team of American Alpha and Kurt Angle against the Wyatts. Now, here's the thing Kurt Angle has not appeared in WWE TV. We don't know if American Alpha is telling the truth and Kurt Angle will make an appearance at WrestleMania. We don't know. Bryce says, you're bringing an Olympic hero. I'm a god. Do you know what happens? God, God's crushed heroes. That's right. And I got the Viper behind me. And I got Brother Luke behind me. So you can't stop us. And if Kurt Angle shows at WrestleMania, what shape will Kurt Angle be in? Where, where's, you know, Kurt's been gone for a long time from WWE. I, I don't know if he's ready to do that. I don't know if he's there. So I'm going to go with the Wyatt. I just feel like Bray and Randy and Luke are going to be too much for the American Alpha, man. I don't know if they can handle it. Up uh, next, Kofi Kingston against the game, Triple H, in a matchup that's been building since Kofi Kingston was screwed out by Triple H, and Triple H screwing Kofi Kingston. Kofi was like, why did you screw me, screw me over? Triple H was like, you weren't what's best for business. You were never going to be best for business. You were just going to be another guy who floated along in the mid card till we released you and let you go in your future endeavors. Kofi Kingston against Triple H. I got to go with Kofi. I think this is Kofi's time. This is finally Kofi's moment to show that he's more than what we've seen and what, we, what we've seen from Kofi. This man is definitely ready to shine. A former King of the Ring winner, Kofi Kingston definitely is the man I'm going to go with in this matchup. After that, we have Dolph Ziggler against JBL, a matchup that started because of the bullying factors of JBL. JBL bullying his way, telling Ziggler, you're just a loser, man. You were the world champion, and you were the intercontinental champion, and now look at you. You're, you're nothing. You're, you're pathetic. Ziggler had enough of that. Ziggler like, you know, how about you fight me? How huh? Because remember, you last WrestleMania you were at, you lost pretty quickly in the intercontinental championship, if, I, if I'm correct. In this match, I got to go Ziggler. Ziggler's been doing this. JBL, obviously, legend status and all that, but he hasn't been in the ring for many years, so I got to go with Ziggler. Gotta go with it. In the next match, uh, Daniel Bryan and Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho came out the night after Daniel Bryan lost and rubbed it in his face that he was never going to be a world champion ever again. Ever again. And Daniel Bryan was like, you know what? It's true, but what have you been doing, huh? What have you been doing since since I've been a world champion? What have you been doing, huh? Nothing. You haven't been doing crap. I gotta go with Daniel on this one. I think Daniel and Chris will have a great match. Obviously, both are professionals. Both can handle it in the ring. Definitely one of the best matches that we're gonna see tonight. Then we get Goldberg and Braun Strowman. Two big men just going at it. I don't know if Goldberg can take down Braun. I don't know. I don't know if he can pick him up. I don't know if he can spear him. Braun is an immovable object. This is a tough one for me, but I'm gonna go with Braun. I think Braun's gonna pull the upset on Goldberg and he's gonna beat Goldberg tonight here at WrestleMania. Then we have AJ Lee against Nikki Bella. This one right here stems since uh, AJ Lee was essentially screwed out of her women's championship and I champions when the authority decided to take over and crown all new champions for themselves. AJ Lee was like, that's when she said, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm not going to be here. I'm busting my ass. I'm carrying this division on my back. And this is the thanks I get. Well, you know what? No thanks. AJ Lee, though, now back to get a chance to shut Nikki Bella down. 
And I gotta go with AJ. I think AJ's gonna get her measure of revenge here. You know, Nikki Bella no longer backed up by the authority. Nobody's backing her up. She's uh, she's just gonna have to win now. We'll see if she can handle it, but I got AJ. In the next match, the commissioner of SmackDown Live, Shane McMahon, will be taking on Brock Lesnar. Brock pissed the hell off that he was drafted to SmackDown, said, hey, I should be the SmackDown champion. I shouldn't be fighting for... No, no. I never got my rematch for my championship. I am the champion. Shane was like, you know, this is the land of opportunities. not the way we're going to work it out. Right? If you want it, you're going to have to earn it. Brock still upset after the Elimination Chamber that he didn't win the WWE Championship. He took out his anger, beat the holy crap out of Shane. And Shane was like, you know, you want to fight? You want to fight like that? Guess what? You and me at WrestleMania, one-on-one, -on -one, you beat me, you get whatever you want here from SmackDown Live. You can get a trade back to Raw. You can go anywhere you want. I don't care. Brock and Shane going at it at WrestleMania. The next match is a European Championship. It is Rusev against Sting. Rusev been dodging Sting ever since uh, Sting came back for one night. Rusev beat Sting that night, made him tap. Sting said, you know what? It left a sour, sour taste in his mouth. Sting couldn't get over it. So Sting said, you know what? I know you're not going to want to fight me. I know you're not going to want it. But I'm willing to put my career up. I need to beat you. I need to prove that I still got something in the tank. And if I can't beat you, then I don't deserve to be in. The, I don't deserve to be here anymore. I deserve to, to definitely be retired. Rusev and Sting, a big win here for Rusev will definitely put Sting down. But I feel like the icon has one more, one more thing to do here, and he's gonna pick up a WrestleMania win here. I feel like it's it's Sting. Sting's taking this one. Up next, it's a cruiserweight championship matchup, and. That's a tough one. That's a tough one because everyone in that matchup can win. Any of them, those men can become the Cruiserweight Championship. Tyler Breeze has definitely been dominant during his uh, Cruiserweight Championship run. But this is a tough one here. A ladder match. It's it's already hard that it's going to be against five other people. But now a ladder is introduced. I'm going to go with... I, I got to go with the man. I think... Brian Kendrick. I think Brian Kendrick is smart enough to play this game, and Brian Kendrick will wait it out. Brian Kendrick will walk out as your cruiserweight champion. Up next is the tag team championships. The New Day defend their titles against the newly formed Sheamus and Bo Dallas. I just don't think Sheamus and Bo Dallas have been a team long enough to beat the New Day. I think the New Day will win this easily, easily, hands down, no problem. The next one is for coming from SmackDown, the tag team champions, the club against Big Show and Tyson Kidd. Ooh, this is a tough one. You know, you got the club who's an experienced tag team, but the other side's got the Big Show. The Big Show, it's just, it's too hard to bet against the Big Show. It's just too difficult to do that. And I don't want to bet against the Big Show, but I, I'm not going to bet against the Big Show. I'm going with Big Show and Tyson Kidd becoming the new tag team champions and Gallows and Anderson. Are gonna have to find a way to come back and get those titles. Up next, the Intercontinental Championship. The Women's Intercontinental Championship is on the line when Alexa Bliss defends her championship against Sasha Banks, Tamina, Emma, Mickey James, and Maria Kanellis. Miss Bliss, not looking good. This is not looking like you're gonna be walking out. And Sasha, I think Sasha's got this. I think Sasha will walk out as your Intercontinental Champion. No disrespect to the other ladies, but I think Sasha is just on momentum right now. The only one that can stop her is Miss Bliss, but I think Sasha's got this. And on the next matchup, it is the Intercontinental Championship. The Miz against Neville, Kalisto, and Curtis Axel. Now, the Miz has had a career resurrection. The Miz has come back out of nowhere ever since Maurice was here, but Maurice won't be a ringside on this one. Maurice won't be out there. So it makes you question, can the Miz win without Maurice right there? You know, I, I know that's his muse, that's his motivation, but I think we might be looking at a new champion tonight at WrestleMania, and I think the name is is Neville. I think Neville will become the Intercontinental Champion tonight, and there's nothing that's going to stop him here tonight. I don't think he'll lose. I think he'll walk out as the winner. And a dream match up next between Seth Rollins and AJ Styles. It is for the United States Championship. Rollins and AJ, two of the very best that WWE has to offer on the Monday Night Raw side as well. Monday Night Raw definitely might deliver the match of the night or one of the matches of the night. Rollins doing this for the authority. Rollins saying, I'm going to do it for Triple H. I'm going to do, I'm going to get revenge for Triple H. AJ is like, you know what? I've taken down Triple H. I've taken down the authority. I want your championship now. I want gold to solidify that. What I'm doing here is definitely worth the cause. And I think AJ has just been too hot and too good. 
I think AJ is taking down the. I think AJ is taking down Seth Rollins. AJ Styles will win this one. I think AJ Styles is walking out as United States Champion. In a, in a match, a rematch from an NXT Takeover. This is the Women's Championship. This is the WWE Women's Championship. Last time the title that was on the line was the NXT Women's Championship, and Charlotte walked out as champ. Charlotte beat Paige, and this time Paige is the champion again, walking in. Charlotte is the challenger. And I don't want to say this is it for Paige's title reign because it's, it's been about two months since the Royal Rumble. But this is it. it. It's over. I think Paige's title runs over. I think Charlotte will become the Raw Women's Champion. And there's nothing uh, Paige is going to be able to do that, about that to stop it. Up next, though, it is the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. It is, it is Natalia against Becky Lynch. Natalia has been telling everybody, you know what, I carry this division on my back and these little ladies from NXT come around thinking they're going to save it. Guess what, it didn't need to be saved at all because I was carrying it. I was doing what I was doing best and that was kicking ass. But Becky Lynch defeated Natalia in an elimination chamber with a couple other superstars as well in that ring. I, I don't see Becky losing this one, but Natalia again has the experience of WrestleMania. This is Becky's first WrestleMania. I'm going to go... I'm going to go with the upside. I think Natalia is going to beat Becky. I think Becky is walking out as as, as the loser and Natalia is going to walk out as champion. In a matchup that I never thought I would say is one of the WrestleMania main events. It is Sami Zayn. It is Kevin Owens for the WWE Championship. Former best friends going at it right here. Sami Zayn earned the chance to face Kevin Owens when he defeated John Cena in a big upset on SmackDown Live. Kevin Owens says, hey, Sammy's not ready for me. Sammy's not ready for this opportunity. This is KO Mania, and KO Mania is going to walk out as champion, and I'm going to agree with Kevin Owens. I don't see Sammy walking out as champion. I'm sorry. I don't think Sammy's got it. Kevin Owens went through a hell, hell to get that WWE championship, and you're going to have to put Kevin Owens through hell, and I don't know if Sammy can do that. I don't know. Speaking of hell, it is the Demon Finn Balor, the Royal Rumble winner, competing against... The Universal Champion Cesaro in another main event. I never thought I'd see Cesaro in the main event picture for the Universal Championship against Finn Balor. Cesaro turning on the fans and hey, you all want to see me as champion now? Finn Balor comes around now. You guys want to see him? Like, pick, make, make up your mind, peace dude, people. I think this right here, I think Cesaro can be tough. Cesaro can definitely be the man. So I'm going with Cesaro for the win. Cesaro will defeat Finn Balor. No doubt about that. And in the main event, this is Streak versus Career. Taker versus Cena. Not much more to say about that. I'm taking Taker. You just don't bet against the dead man at WrestleMania. Never bet against the dead man. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoy WrestleMania. It's coming up. Four parts to WrestleMania. Four night events. We'll start off with the pre-show tonight. I'll see you guys then. Adios.